My name's Ryan, I'm the team lead of the inputs team here at Conscious Ground. Inputs are anything that you add to a food growing system to, to get a better yield or to enhance the soil life. We provide inputs for the whole, for all of the systems here. We've got orchards, we've got food forests, we've got syntropics, we've got market garden, we've got natural bushland as well. But with the market garden in particular, when we turn it, or when, when we're building a new bed, we, they require compost to add the organic material back in. As the crop, crops are growing, we spray out an EM, which stands for Effective Microbes, which is, it's like a probiotic for the soil. You're, you're inoculating the soil with, with beneficial microbes. Uh, also, we spray out compost teas on a regular basis in the market garden. That's adding beneficial microbes. It's also adding nutrients and uh, organic compounds to the soil. That's like a liquid fertilizer, if you want to use those terms. So we, we do all these different kinds of inputs to gain more diversity um, and what we can offer our plants and our soil. You just make hot compost, it's great. It's a great input. It's, it's highly beneficial for the, for the garden and for the soil and for the plants. But just think of it as, as like a, a limited spectrum of what you can add to the soil. If you combine that with the worm castings from a worm farm, you're, you're, you're diversifying, you're broadening the amount of microbes for one and nutrients and organic matter and material. And then we, we usually add biochar to, to our inputs to, to just add a, another layer of, of benefit. Market gardening takes a lot of uh, energy, you know, it's, it takes a lot of nutrients out of the soil, you're continuously turning beds and rotating. Uh, it's, it's a high production system, so it requires a lot of input to keep that balance, so you're not depleting the soil, you're actually increasing the organic matter in the soil each time. I mean, to my knowledge, conventional agriculture uses synthetic fertilizers mainly, so they're, they're made in a lab, they're made in a factory, nothing to do with the natural world, you know, they're synthetic at their core. What our inputs are and what organic inputs are, they're, they're taking waste products or end of life products like food scraps or chicken manure or dead leaves in a forest and we're converting those into fertilizer, into food, into microbial rich amendments. So that's fully governed by nature. It's, it's, it's day and night the difference between organic inputs and synthetic fertilizers. Not just in how they're made, but how they're applied, how they affect the soil, how they affect plant growth, how they affect the environment and the natural world. So what brought me here was I had this, this longing or this, this, this urge to, to connect on a deeper level with, with nature, with the, with the land, with my food, with people. And I've had this my whole life, but never really give it enough thought or never really listen to it enough. And the greatest change I ever did for myself was listen to that, that voice, that need of, of greater connection and of more depth. And that ultimately brought me here and, and it changed my life for the better in so many ways. Not just learning how to grow food and how to, to live sustainably and if, to be fully connected with, with the food that I grow and the food that I eat. It's, it's unlike anything else. You can, you can learn all of the cutting edge, sustainable um, land management practices and food growing practices, but there's just a, a deep resonance of, of connectedness and, and our natural way that, that's available here. It's available to everyone. Inputs is, is really the the end of the growing and the food and the eating and the enjoying and it's also the start. And for anyone who's interested in that, you know, I, I was, I learned pretty much everything I know 
from being here and I'd love to, I'd love to share that and, and pass that on to anyone who's, to, who's interested. It's the best thing that I could ever do with my time. It's, it makes the most sense out of anything that I've ever seen and, and done before. I was, you know, I was a chef before and this is pretty new to me still and I, couldn't, I wouldn't ever change it. I could never go back. Mm-hmm. <laughs>